guys, today I'm going to be sharing the look that I've been going to most recently using my Project Pan items and my Lorac Pro. The color that I've been using a lot lately, the light bronze color, is almost done, so I thought now was the best time to do this look before it ran out because I did get a request about it from Makeup Junkie 119 a while back on my Project Pan video, so I thought I would just go ahead and share it with you guys. It's a look that I've been really loving, and it's just kind of a soft, smoky eye almost, and I just, I have been wearing it a ton, and obviously since my shade is almost gone, I've been really, really liking it. So I just wanted to remember it and document it for you guys in case you're using a Bula Rock Pro as well, one way that I really like to wear these shadows. So if you want to see how that looks, just keep watching. I'm going to start with just my foundation done. Sorry if I'm kind of washed out. I don't know how to best do the lighting this morning, but this is going to work for now. I've already gone in and done my face makeup, so I went in and I did the um, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in 115. I mixed that with a little bit of my leftover Dr. Jart BB Detox something, uh, the BB cream that I had in my project pan, and that was just like a tiny little bit left with that. And then I mixed it in with Benefit Sunbeam, which is also my project pan. I did that all over my face, and then I went in with the Benefit Fake Up Concealer and Light under my eyes. And then over top of that, I used the YBF Bright and Hide and Sculpt Concealer. And so I use this lightest color here under my eyes. I mixed these two together for my concealer all over my face. And then I went in and did a little bit of bronzing before I put my e.l.f. powder on top. Then I've been using my e.l.f. high definition powder on all over my face. I did all of that ahead of time just because I feel like that takes so long. And it's always pretty similar and it's not that interesting. So I just went ahead and did that while I was off camera just to make it a little bit faster. So that's what I used. Now I'm going to go in with my Sigma Large Angle Contour Brush and I'm going to use my NARS Laguna Bronzer. And I'm just going to bronze around the contour of my face, so underneath my cheekbones and then around the top edges of my face. Then I'm just going to do my blush, so I use the um, Real Techniques Stippling Brush with the L'Oreal what is this called? L'Oreal Magic Smooth Souffle in Cherubic, and I just dab this in there. You don't need a lot of this, and it tends to get a mess if you get too much of it, so I'm dabbing it in there. And this is just a pretty natural color for the most part, really. I've been using that underneath my powder blushes for the last two weeks or so. It is in my project pan as well. Most of these products are in my project pan because I'm working on using them up. So this is what I've been kind of doing a lot lately. And then I'm going in with my Real Techniques Multitask Brush and then I'm just going to go in with my NARS um, Orgasm Blush and top that to make sure it stays a little bit better. Then I'm going to go in with my Benefit What's Up Highlighter. I'm going to run that along my cheekbones and then down to the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow. And then I'm going to go in with my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop, I think is that what it is? Yeah, Champagne Pop, the Jaclyn Hill. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so let's do that. Okay. I'm going to go with Champagne Pop, which is the Jaclyn Hill collaboration. This is the only regular Becca product that I have. Um, but it is very, very pretty. It is more of an intense highlighter, but I like it a lot. And now I'm going to go into my eyes, and this might be one of my last days for this look, but I've been doing this look a lot for the last couple months, last month. So I'm going to start, I always prime my eyes first and then I go back and do my brows and then I go back and do my eyeshadow. So priming my eyes with the e.l.f. eyelid primer, I think this one's like $3. Um, I got it in a giveaway I think from Pretty Pistol, 86 a while back. It's a pretty good eye primer though for $3. I'm just going to blend that in. Alright, so my brows are brushed out. I always do that with a little spoolie first. And then I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows with my random eye, My Glam eyeliner brush. I got this from Ipsy a long time ago, like when it very first started. And I have been using... I'm going to do this without spilling everything. I have been using Sable up here, which is this reddish brown, for my brows for the last probably two months or so. And I really, really like that effect because it kind of gives them a reddish tint a little bit to match my hair just a little bit better. Um, and I hadn't really used this color any other way 
um, since I'd started the Pan the Palette challenge. So this is a good way for me to use it. I'm sure this would look really pretty on the eyes as well. I have just liked using it for my brows because it just gives that reddish tint. So, you know, I appreciate that and I will use it that way, I guess. I really need to get my brows waxed. I tried to go to Ulta yesterday and do it and nobody was there and there's not anybody there till Tuesday. So, at some point I will get my brows waxed because they are looking pretty intense these days, but... They're looking really off lately and that kind of drives me crazy, but we're just going to go with it and going to leave them like they are. I'm going to set them with my NYX Tinted Brow Gel in Brunette and this one is a brow gel that just kind of lightly sets them in place but doesn't make them stick. If I know that my brows are having a crazy day, I will use the um, Anastasia Clear Brow Gel that I got in a birch box a couple months back. I really do like this brow gel though. It does a nice job. So there are my crazy brows. Now I'm going to go in with two different eyeshadow pencils. The first one that I'm going to use is the Rue Beauté Bright Eyes Jumbo Eye Pencil. I got this from Rue 21 a while back. I think I just got it because I needed a little extra money to hit a certain point to get money off. And so this is just a pretty champagne color. Um, it is a little drier than some other ones that I've used. It's not my favorite. And if you try to blend it out with your finger at all, it completely disappears. So I don't tend to touch it once I actually have it laid down on my eyes. This is also in my project pan, so if you guys want a little sneak peek, that's as much as I have left. We're getting there. And then while I'm doing that, I'm going to go in with my Milani Brow and Eye Highlighter on the side matte cream. And I'm just going to run that under my brows and kind of down into the crease a little bit so everything has a sticky base so that nothing's going to um, awkwardly cling or not cling to things. That one I do blend out because it looks crazy if you don't blend out. The other one looks okay if you don't blend it out. All right, now I'm going to go in and do the look that I've been doing for the last couple months. First, I'm going to use what might be almost the last of my light bronze, which is right here. You can barely see it at the bottom there, but it is light bronze, and I'm going to first tap that all over my lid. So there's that. I think I have like two days max using that. Maybe one day. I might use that up tomorrow. Next I'm going in with light pink just because I like layering that color on top. I just think it gives a nice effect when I layer bronze, light bronze and light pink together. And I'll probably continue layering light pink. I think I'll probably move on to gold when I'm done with light bronze. And I'll keep layering light pink over it just because it's not my favorite on its own. And so that just kind of lightens it up a little bit. It gives it a different effect a little bit. There we go, you can see that a little bit better. So that is pink and light bronze layered. What I had been doing for a long time was layering mauve in my crease, but because that one's used up in my palette, I have a couple of alternatives that are pretty close. So there is like Limit or Nooner from the Naked 3 palette. Either of those could probably work. I would probably go with Limit, it's just more my style, I guess. And then also from the Lorac Pro palette, this one here, Unconditionally, is really pretty close. And that's the one I'm going to use today to kind of replicate what I had been going for the last couple of weeks. Um, and then this is the Sigma Tapered Blending E35 brush that I'm going to be using to do this. So I'm just going to lay that into my crease. And these like uh, more mauve toned shades I really, really like. I switched over to taupe since I finished up the mauve color over my Lorac Pro. And I don't like the overall look with taupe as much as I liked the look with mauve. I think mauve is just a prettier color. And it just suits me a little bit better. I feel like it makes it look a little bit more romantic almost. So I'm just running that into the crease and into the outer corner a little bit. So this isn't the same exact, exact look that I've been going for, but it is similar. It's just a touch different. Okay, so we're going to call that good. And then I've been going in with Garnet right here into the outer crease first. And that goes into the outer crease and then up into the crease a little bit and I blend it out. I really like the effect of Garnet. That was one of the ones that I never thought that I would like as much as I do, but I've been using it in my crease almost every day for quite a while now. 
and I really, really do like the effect that it gives. It just warms it up a little bit. It's a smokier eye when I use it, but I've really been liking that effect. And then I always layer espresso, just a touch of it right here, into the outer corner. And it's not a lot, but it's enough to kind of just define it a little and make it just a touch smoky, but it's not too dramatic because I don't generally go too dramatic on a day-to-day -day basis. At some point, I might have to try to put black in the outer corner and see how that goes. So that is pretty much the eye look. I'm going to go in with white, and I'm going to run that under my brow bone with my finger. Just highlights my brow bone. Blend it out into this one a little bit because the lines are a little harsh here. And then I am actually going to run white into my inner corner just to brighten it up a little bit. It seems a little darker than it usually does. Alright, so that's my overall eye look. On that specific video I had a black liner so I'm going to show you guys how I've been doing that. But with this look, I've also been using Uzi from Urban Decay a lot, and that's just a gray color as well. That's more of an everyday look for me. If I want a little bit more dramatic, I've been going with this black liner, which is the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes Waterproof Liner in Zero L. So I'm going to run that along my upper lash line first, and then set it with black from my Lorac Pro palette. And then I do it on the underneath, and then smoke it out with a couple of colors a little. by itself which is never quite as intense as I would like it to be so I'm going in with my Sigma small angle eyeliner brush I guess and I'm going in with black which is just a basic matte black I'm going to line my eyes and with this the thing that I like is that when I use my hand here it usually catches most of the shadow because there tends to be a ton of fallout from this on my eyes which drives me crazy it just ends up everywhere on my face but I don't like this liner enough by itself. It just isn't quite black enough, and I feel like this gives a little bit more definition. and line the waterline here with that same liner. I'm going to use my Sigma E30 pencil and I'm going to dip it into Garnet and run that under my underlash line. Underlash line? <laughs> Lash line. Also going to go in and I'm going to take a touch of that same color from the Lorac unzipped palette, um, the unconditionally one. And then I'm just going to take one touch of white in the very inner corner. I think the under area is a little bit more dramatic than I usually go, but. Whatever, that's what it is. Then I'm going to curl my lashes first. The combo of mascaras that I've been loving recently are the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express and then the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant. There's something about the combo of those two that I just adore. So I always do the Rocket Volume Express first. I 
go in with the Smoky Extravagant. I just missed the bottle when I tried to do that. For lips in that particular video, I'm pretty sure I had on the, um, what is this, the Maybelline Matte Lipstick in Lust for Blush, which is just a very pretty light pink color. And that is pretty much it there. So this is the look that I've been going for the last few months or so. Um, and then I'm sure I will show you guys another video as I change up what I'm using because I'm gonna have to switch off of light bronze to something different. I feel like light bronze went really, really fast in comparison to a lot of the other ones that I used up. I don't know why light bronze seemed to go so fast, but I really did enjoy it more than I thought I would. And I never really wore it without layering it. I thought layering it was the best option for me and I liked it the best, but this is my little bit more dramatic form of what I do. If I wanna go a little lighter, I'll just use Uzi by Urban Decay for my liner so it's not quite as dramatic. So I used that all week for school because we went back to school on Wednesday with kids officially. I've been back doing in-service stuff for the last two weeks or so. So that is my look. So that is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's one that I really, really liked. So um, if you guys have any great suggestions, if you think that gold pairs really well with something, because I will be moving on to that as soon as I'm done with my light bronze, I would love to see that in the comments below. I love seeing you guys' makeup looks and what you guys choose to do with them because it's helpful for me as I move forward and using products up. I've used up a lot of the shades that I really gravitated towards first, so now I'm trying to work on the ones that I wouldn't normally go for and work on those as I'm trying to finish up this palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.